keeps the castle alive, he uh, could have still won it. So now we're over to Nomad here. And uh, yeah, I already favor Ghetto Liquidator here because he's uh, taking Persians in the draft. Pawn with the Spanish. Thing with Persians is they start with an extra plus 50 wood and plus 50 food means they could drop their uh, dock instantly and still start producing fish and chips immediately. So you have an immediate food income lead. Should have, <laughs> but Palm is actually already on <laughs> five, seven villagers here because he's Spanish. So his TC builds faster and his dock as well for that matter, but he's uh, lacking wood for a dock. So I'm very, very surprised to see Ghetto Liquidator being behind two villagers here considering he can drop the dock straight away, but his TC of course takes a bit longer to build. But in the long run, anyway, I'd say Persians with their boom potential, with the faster working TC and dock through the edges, should dominate on both land and water here, even against the Spanish. But uh, maybe they have some specific strategies in mind here. What do you think of the TC placements on Colner if you have the game up? I got it. But. Mm. The problem is that Liquidator also knows where Palm is. Right? He was. Yes, he sees the location. Yeah. That's never good. Because he knows where. where the aggression needs to be. But all, all Persians should be favored there, no matter what. Air 12 asks if there are Vs. He says that Palm should V with that dock. Yeah, it's up in the corner and almost no deep fish whatsoever here. Uh, and Adolf hasn't managed, mentioned anything about research, so probably they won't be going for it. Who is his secretary, by the way? Um, I don't know. Is it. Uh, probably some angry housewife what, somewhere. What? What uh, was his uh, uh, his Smurf called? Naughty Nina, or what was it? <laughs> oh, he won't be happy with you, you revealing that. So I'm not going to I'm not going to divulge <laughs> that information, even though I hate Smurfs. But it's not Naughty Nadia. But ah, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so now being exposed, he will need to uh, switch that username now. And also he claims that your mother is his secretary, so uh, then you know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I do, Alof. I expose smurfs. They should not be a thing. No go. Just play your account and live with that you have to face tougher resistance. Yeah, so... Players with equal numbers here in Builders. Still, I find that surprising. There's probably more... Well, there's one more fishing ship for Ghetto. That should be one more Builder overall for Palm, actually. But that could be also because the TC completes faster. It's not a Smurf, it's a second identity. <laughs> well, you're trying to talk yourself out of it. That's fine. Transgender other Hmm. I don't know if I want to run into that. Alright, so Ghetto knows Palm's location. Palm probably luckily unaware of Liquidator's whereabouts. Did Scout did lose a sheep over here, unless that was his starting villager, could be as well. So, yeah. Always useful if you want to look for that early aggression to know where your opponent is located. But then again, everything is next to Palm's TC here. So, um. Scouts aggression, for example, would be tough here. For the moment, anyway. <laughs> this guy is so intolerant, I'll tell Captain Sweden on you. Who's Captain Sweden? <laughs> Both players now going to gold. That suggests that they're setting up for some water fighting later on, and their docks are really far apart here. I don't think they've scouted either of their opponent's docks. 
and clicks up to feudal at virtually the same time here. You get to with three more villagers total. Two on gold for pawn, three on gold for ghetto. Right, houses, mills. I don't see any scouting going on in water. Ghetto is using his sheep, maybe. To try and spot the dock along the shoreline this way, so I kind of like that move actually. If you suspect that uh, Palm's dock is on this side somewhere, I'm going for a long distance lure here, but it's going to boost his food econ even further. No water, I think, just regular FCC. Yeah, maybe that makes sense where uh, when their docks are this far, uh, far apart, maybe that actually makes sense not to. Not to stress that water fighting too much. So we get to in a great position to get quickly to the castle age here. Tom should really go on stone though. Yeah. I mean, I suppose this place uh, castle dropping in called Kisselors. Here, so Smith Market going up for Ghetto, he's going to have a certain huge head start into the castle age here. Ah, huge and huge. Not that huge, but at least a good... Uh, a good 20-30% uh, here. Palms taking the short fish now, so little deep fish around this dock here actually. So Liquidator goes for stone as well. Mm -hmm. We will see a world of masterpiece here, or is it for the trash bowl upgrades? Ah, that would be against Spanish would be suicidal if he goes for <laughs> elephants. <laughs> yeah, it's so easy to get to the blacksmith, blacksmith upgrades for Spanish as well. You could easily get to the upgrades for pikes and other deers because they're. Blacksmith upgrades don't cost gold. Yeah, Inquisition, bro. Yeah, conversions I mean. as well. Yeah, missionaries maybe even could convert elephants. Yeah. <laughs> missionaries. Yeah. Huh? True. Why not? Run against the elephants and convert them even more. Nice. But Palm finally going to stone there. Eight on stone. Uh, we'll probably castle this hill near his gold, I guess, for the first one, to secure the territory a little bit. Maybe try to cover this stone as well. And no bad, lots of neutral, or lots of golds and stones overall, so this map is not going to run out of these forces, resources anytime soon. So, can I stay? She's no from both players. building right now. That's true, no military building for either of the players. Castle yes. goes, uh, will go up for Pablo, and it should be finished rather quickly as well, considering he has eight Spanish villagers building it. Ghetto probably wants to secure these golds and stones here. Maybe once he has the stone for his castle, he has it actually. Now I'm going to drop it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to put it in his face. And Fire Galley is out, Sorry, Ghetto. Bro. <laughs> Won't happen. <laughs> uh oh, not against Spanish man. That's not gonna work. <laughs> wait, wait, what? What? <laughs> yeah. Won't happen. <laughs> Hello. I hope he's paying attention now. He should turn back ASAP. <laughs> Bonjour. Ah, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> oh, Titanic. <sighs> oh, he's bad, man. Well, I mean, if he loses only one villager this way, I'm actually. Oh, that's what I was talking about. I, I, I. Yeah, but his castle is. Oh my god. And uh, Conquistadors come out as well. We'll at the very least delay this defensive castle, not on a hill. Oh boy. 
Oh boy. But then again, he is taking out all the fish of Palm here, so Palm is losing some uh, very important fish eco here. He's immediately transitioning into farm stone, so he could be saving himself here. He's only with 50 food now, though. And he's uh, essentially giving up water. But with Conquistadors on the field, he could also raid around here and make life difficult for potions here. Monastery, of course, up for ghetto, wants to get those conversions in on the few Conquistadors. Yeah, but that's why Conquistadors are so annoying and hard to play against, because they have mobility and just can be annoying, basically like good calf archers. Palm is lacking uh, husbandry, I mean, lacking a stable for husbandry and these upgrades for the Conquistadors though, and he doesn't have the eco to support it either really, so that's going to set him back a little bit here with the Conquistadors. Uh, he does have a blacksmith oh, though. This is 23 villagers being uh, more or less idle here for Ghetto Liquidator. Oh, and Atisa gets denied, but a monk comes here to maybe get... Dude, react! Oh, he'll get it. Uh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, could have easily put it away, but... Well, get some kills here, though. Uh, <laughs> Monk is dead. And once again, and I think he's denying that castle. Yeah, he's uh, going uh, to deny the TC. I think, yeah, he's focusing now. He's microing both. We'll at the very least get another kill, maybe two. No, 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 Wilder, 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 dude. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, TC goes up at the uh, last second, and another conversion will happen here for sure. No. Wow. That was uh, actually kind of impressive that team. Managed to dodge that runs into Castle Fire with the Conquistador. There are some offerings from Palm now. He's maybe hoping for the good fortune offerings that get all the last game. Running straight into the castle with the Conquistador here. Well, he is forcing, or rather, neglecting, uh, denying is the word, denying expansion for Ghetto Liquidator very much here. Ghetto will still have water though, so if uh, he could go if his eco supports it, he's uh, getting lots of wood after all. He could extend his fish eco like he's doing, and he is controlling water now, so his food eco will be dependent on water. That could save him here actually, still. It's two TCs for Ghetto, and it's uh, still one TC for Palm here. One TC, one Castle, and his Eco getting close Both to another Ecos Castle. Those look kind of. Yeah. Yeah, Palm lost all this food. Like they're gonna go up to... No, we won't be seeing Imperial Age anytime soon, that's for sure. And. Uh... <laughs> This hill, though, next to get those uh, TC by the wood lion, isn't that within range of uh, potential siege here? If he gets the siege workshop dropped somewhere, actually, it could it's going to be tough to get on the hill, maybe with the castle there, but siege push couldn't be out of the question. Ah, it's dropping out on the other hill, so it's going to push the other TC. That's nice. And look at the other hill um, on more on the south. Yeah. Could place a castle there. Oh, that's a nice castle spot, that's true. That's what where I was thinking he could drop a TC and try and push the uh, drop oh, yeah. a yeah. drop a drop a siege workshop and push that TC, but he's going to push the other one and it's actually going to fortify the position here with the castle. And that's nice because there's stone and gold right next to it. So his palm is basically taking his side of the map now. And uh, yeah, taking more and more control, but he is not on water at, at all. So that uh, leaves a lot of potential food eco on water for ghetto, something that could keep in game in game for a lot longer. Magalal is out though. Uh, if you target the builders you could get lots of kills here. It sounds like a conversion just got in on a conquistador here. Both players with lots of idols but ghetto with 28 idols at the moment. And thanks to mm, Vendison for the follow by the way. Appreciate it. So Ghetto is extending, he's built a new TC uh, out of Palm's site. 
And thanks to Cheap for following as well. It's appreciated, guys. I know you guys know Palm already, so uh, you're probably cheering for him like I do because my five dollars are on Palm here. <laughs> Please don't lose this Manganel. Yeah, he needs to pull that one back. Oh. Okay, but he really should repair it as well. <laughs> do the Conquistadors outrange the TC though? Uh, same range? Yep, they do. But they're both at same six range. Yeah, but there on the hill, I think it's. Uh... At the TC can fire uphill or something? Oh. Looked like the same range. Oh, TC was empty. That explains it. <laughs> Don't judge me, but I got this mod where you can see how far TC can shoot. Oh. So, uh, yeah, I, I actually saw it was out of the range. Yeah. He is with, well within range of the other TC here though, and again sacrifice, sacrificing yeah, a Conquistador here to... What is he doing? Bob still doesn't have a uh, stable, so he won't have husbandry yeah. or um, bloodlines for the uh, Conquistadors either. I uh, hope he got the uh, blacksmith upgrades at least. Uh, monk sneaking in there, but will die. <laughs> Bap. <laughs> I was sure as well a flag on the TC, that's why I was wondering why it didn't fire, but... Anyway, didn't hurt the Conquistadors. Yeah, he's rushing uh, Skirms now, probably. Yep. Two Skirms, two ranged Skirm protection error. Don't think that's going to be enough because he will need uh, Elite Skirm, I think, for it to be real efficient here. Probably yeah. doesn't have the upgrades either, and that's a pretty late wheelbarrow. He doesn't really have any farms, though, so that's only going to boost the rest of the income. One TC is down, and now one Manganel firing away at the next TC, but these are Persian TCs, it's going to take forever. <laughs> Persians could be an anti Huang Sif as well, in that regard. Yeah, that's true. So Cheap asked, what's the build difference? We see the builders here, but that's... Uh, no, that's, that's fine, Cheap, but uh, that's the uh, fishing boats counting in as well. So if you look at the actual builder count, which could be significant here, it's 51 for Palm, and it's probably less for like, get to Liquidator at 34. So he has food income on water, obviously, long distance uh, fishing here, but he is uh, well behind on land economy. And lots of idols as well, that's um, never a good sign. Looks over. Yeah, I think so. And TC is going down here. Palm could even. He's getting close to another cast drop here, and that should probably be on the hill with the uh, Golden Stone here. He has a Conquistador over here as well. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't even garrison anymore, right? Yeah. Well. So it's beginning to look a lot like 3-2 for Palm here, meaning hey, if he wins the next game, he's the show match winner. And oh, did I won calls the GG already? Maybe he's onto something here. <laughs> Builders just to dwindling for uh, Ghetto here. Is he? Well, he's pulling Builders away, so he isn't actually AFK. <laughs> but <laughs> this uh, can't be a good feeling. Maybe it's not not a uh, normal player. Calls the GG, and we'll be moving on to the game number. Six, any moment. 69, villager high. Oh. Well, I did not expect Spanish to win against Persians here, so good job, Paul. Taking, getting to the Conquistadors and taking the win here. Uh, better eco overall in the end, even after losing water. KD 71 to 16, that's just almost to the point on, of disgusting here. <laughs> And yeah, more food collected. That surprises me a little bit as well, considering all the fish and ships get all the credit we had after all. And uptime is pretty similar for both, for both of the players, but Palm with the uh, quicker castle, obviously, a uh, quicker castle drop with his uh, faster building builders. 